What's up guys, Jack Spell here, and today I'm gonna be giving you a play-by-play -play on some of the things that a lot of high-tier players within Call of Duty Warzone won't tell you. If you haven't been following my streams, I have been struggling so, so much with this game, and I'm not joking about that. It's been really bad, like really, really bad. Like I crying like a little baby, dude. I swear on my life, I just get so frustrated with this game and I found some things that changed the way that I played. So guys, we're gonna hop into this and I'm gonna be giving you a play-by-play -play, uh, or in the mind of Expel, uh, which is taken from X Jaws. If you guys don't know who he is, just Google it. Um, <laughs> so I'm going to be giving you a play by play of how I won this game with 23 kills in solos. Let's go ahead and hop on into things. Recently, some of you may know I actually made the switch to PC. That's why on your screen now you can see the M space and stuff like that. Uh, so that's the keys that I'm using for a lot of the things uh, like my keybinds and stuff like that. So uh, you'll see that. Just expect it. The reason I switched over is because it just works a lot better than PlayStation and Xbox do with this game, as this game was really built for PC. I just wanted to give you a heads up on that before we go any further. However, um, first tip that I have and one of the big ones is land somewhere in the middle of the map if you're trying to get kills. I want to give you a play-by-play -play on everything, but I also want to give you some tips here. So I saw some people coming down. I'm going to go and look for those guys and see if I can get them. Obviously, aim is a big deal. Just make sure you have the right sensitivity no matter what platform you're playing on so that you can kill people properly. Now, I saw this guy right here. I get the kill. Obviously. He had no idea what was going on. Regardless, um, my first tip is going to be land in the middle of the map if you're going for kills. But you also want to make sure that you're paying attention to the stuff around you, the noises, uh, the people flying down and stuff like that. You want to make sure that you're knowing what's going on. Hearing is a huge deal in this game. I mean, a huge, huge deal in this game. If you... This guy right here, just absolutely disgusting shots right there. Just flicked on me. He definitely was on PC. But if you are running around the map nonstop, you will die. This is something I had a huge issue with. And if you guys have been watching me, you know that I've cried like a little baby every single day since I switched to PC and even on PS4 because I didn't understand how this game needed to be played. Now, solos are a little bit different. You've got a couple of tactics you can use. You can use the vehicle tactic where you basically run around on a vehicle and just hop out on people and shoot them or run them over whichever one seems right in the situation. Or you have tactic number two, which is the one that I really like. And that's going to be where you go around the, the map and you be as sneaky as possible. You got to treat this like you're actually in a tactical mission. You want to go as quiet as you can be, but at the same time, get as many kills as you can get. So the way that you will see me doing this is with a lot of rotations so that people don't expect me to be going to one spot, but I end up in a, you know, I ended up in that spot anyway. Uh, you want to make your way behind people. You want to make your way uh, just where they don't expect you in, in situations like this. So I knew that there was another guy in this building and I killed one guy and he didn't end up killing the other guy. And I saw the decoy get thrown at me whenever I was at the front of the building. So I wanted to rotate around and see if I could catch him off guard, which in just a second, we do hear them shooting and I go and uh, get a little nasty with it or I hear a guy in a different area. There's two kills that happen here, um, but I want to make sure that I end up being as quiet as possible. In every situation, you can hear the guy upstairs. In every situation, you want to make sure that you are sneaky. So I always peek doors like that. And we get this guy off guard. We jump out. Sometimes hit fire is the best way to go. Please keep that in mind, ladies and gentlemen. Sometimes you don't need to aim down, especially if you don't have uh, aim assist. Like if you're on console, it's a little bit easier to get kills when you ADS. On PC, not so much because if you miss, it's just not worth it. Regardless, it's always about catching people off guard. So you want to be stealthy. You want to listen very, very caref carefully. And you want to be sure that in every single situation, they don't know where you're coming from. Another thing is, is looking for buy stations. You want to pay attention to the amount of money that you have in every situation. And by the way, I just saw a guy over, uh, over there where I'm looking currently. There was a bench that he jumped up on and I end up looking for him. Now, I don't actually end up finding this guy, which is kind of crazy. I don't know where he went, but it's not that big of a deal. Regardless, we went over here. I snuck around. 
doing exactly what I'm telling you to do. You want to make sure that you're as quiet as possible. Guys, I'm not joking when I say this. Drop kits don't matter, okay? Um, until you're about halfway to three quarters way through the game, don't worry about getting your drop kit. Yes, it's helpful, but it also, with as many players as there are in the map, it makes you a target. People see that red smoke, they start sprinting towards it to kill you. Now, given those people are the same people that probably don't win the game, but... By the way, right here, I see this guy, and we get a little more sneaky, and I start thinking about, like, high ground and stuff like that when I get in here. But uh, people do push you whenever they see stuff, and pushing in this game is not the tactic unless you have a team that is pro players or have been playing for years and years and years and years and are ridiculously good. Pushing in solos, definitely not the tactic. You can do it. But you've got to be really, really good. And at this point, I don't consider myself one of the top tier players. Um, yes, I'm good. But I'm definitely not, obviously, like Crimsix, Ninja, Shroud, people like that. Th those are people that are ridiculously good. So, I don't consider myself that. In that situation, I thought I heard somebody upstairs, by the way. That's why I jumped from the car. And I tried to take high ground in this building. That's what happened there. Uh, regardless, you want to make sure that, uh, that you're not rushing people. Especially at the beginning whenever you don't really know the game that well and you slowly start to learn the map as you go a little slower through the map instead of trying to take everything as fast paced as you possibly can now another thing you're going to see in a little bit is how i spend my money my money in this game is spent in a very different way than what people expect as i was saying earlier drop kits don't matter as much as a lot of people want you to think that they do they really really don't Yes, you can get ghost. Yes, you can get overkill with your M4 and your AX50 or your heartbeat sensor and stuff like that. But at the beginning of the game, it's not that big of a deal. What it comes down to is listening. If you can hear them, you win. If you've got high ground, you win. Just be good enough to hit your shots a little bit and it's over for them. The, the health in this game goes down so quickly that you can just spray somebody and they'll die so fast. So there's a buy station down there. I've been thinking about this buy station the whole time, by the way, because I wanted to go over there and grab a UAV so that we could find some people and kill them. But people just kept showing up over and over. And this guy, by the way, how did I not? Man, I only hit him twice. I, whenever I was playing, I thought I hit him like six times, but I guess only twice. Regardless, I take shots. When I know that I've broke somebody's armor, I take the shot. Most of the time, it's not like that big of a deal to like try and shoot people from a long distance. But if they have no armor, there's a large chance that you can kill them. And right here, I caught the guy. He was just sitting on the roof looking for me. And I just, I just went at it. Now he did get his armor back. So I had to go a little bit harder right here. Again, I'm not perfect on PC. Still trying to get a little better and disregard my punches here. Yikes. Um, <laughs> just disregard that. None of that happened. You didn't see anything. Okay. Um, but like I said, guys, just over and over, just keep thinking this. What can I do to be stealthy? What can I do to make sure I have high ground? What can I do to make sure that they're not expecting me? Drop kits don't matter. If you, What I like to do, instead of buying drop kits and spending my money that way, I wait until drop kits come down so I can just take it out of that. And if I run into two drop kits in a game, I'm going to get my overkill class on the first one, which have two weapons that are fully loaded. And then I'm going to get my second class which is going to have ghost on it. By the way, I run tracker on these now because uh, whenever you're in solos, you don't need tune up to uh, help you revive people. So make sure you're running tracker as well. That's uh, another huge tip. Now in this situation, I kind of slowed down a little bit. I tried to walk away and see if I could catch him off guard with him thinking that maybe I left or something like that. Now I am also always looking at my map. So in the same situation as me looking here at, uh, at that ladder where he would be coming up, I'm going to see in a second somebody shoot on the radar. Now, at the exact same moment, and this is what we like to call COD timing, this guy is going to take his... Right there. I saw a guy on the map. He came up the ladder, and I'm like, what the fuck? How did you get there so fast? And I missed a couple of shots. It's okay. I pull up my secondary. I rush him as fast as I can. I found that whenever you're playing on PC, what matters the most, and honestly, on PlayStation as well, is your accuracy. Accuracy even over damage. And I'm not joking about that because the damage that you get per shot whenever you uh, you put on the perks that are for damage, unless you're on a sniper, it's genuinely not worth it. You want to go for accuracy because honestly, we're not all that accurate, guys. Uh, some people are like, yeah, I got a good shot. But whenever you're shooting at 100 to 200 meters, it's an entirely different thing. This guy just caught off guard. I don't even know what to tell you. 
I'm literally just looking around over and over from the top of this building, making sure that I've got the jump on everybody. Now, I heard somebody right down below me, by the way. So I start looking around, seeing if he's going to run out, stuff like that. You can hear the Molotov downstairs. People are trying to get crazy with it. I saw him right there. I chucked down the uh, C4. I didn't hit him. I was going to go down, and then I was like, nah, that's not the play. So I came back up top, and I just decided that the best thing to do was to make sure to watch that. Now, I play this the exact same way I played the other one. I wait for the guy to come up. Now, right here, I see that there's a shield turret. Doesn't matter. I'm not going to end up using it at all. I hate shield turrets. They're useless. Right there, he did the exact thing that I wanted him to do. He came up whenever he thought that I was gone. However, I was watching it the whole time. He had no idea how this really didn't go the way that I wanted it to was that he ended up dipping out. He was not feeling it. So I sat here for a minute. And I tried to decide what the best thing to do was in the situation. Should I push it? Should I stay here? And at the end of the day, I decided the best thing to do was to just stay here. Honestly. Because if I ended up pushing that and he ended up coming up at the same time, he would have the advantage as he had a head glitch on me. And it would make it impossible for me to, uh, to, to get the win, basically. And I would just die to him. I also don't have a self-revive kit. That's another big thing that you want to make sure that you're paying attention to whenever you're playing. If you have the opportunity to get a self-revive kit, and also this is the guy right here, super, super annoying. If you have the opportunity to get a self-revive kit, get a self-revive kit. It's not as important as you think it is, but if it's there, get it. Now, as I was telling you earlier, there's a loadout drop. And this is how I get stuff. Also, I don't know what this guy's doing. He was just not paying attention. Some of these guys, I really just catch off guard. There's like three or four, maybe even five people this game that I end up just catching off guard that they have no idea what's going on. Uh, so, you know, just just good kills. Easy kills. Nothing nothing huge. I tried to go for the kill on this. It just doesn't work out. I, I'm, I'm doing my, my best, guys. Just don't judge me, okay? There was a game prior to this where I got some crazy C4 kills on cars and I placed a claymore and hit people. It was, it was kind of insane. Uh, by the way, if you didn't know, Throw down a Bouncing Betty. Throw down a, a Claymore on, on cars and throw down C4 and blow them up. Because whenever they run over those things in particularly, it instantly blows up the car and kills them. Now, another guy just caught off guard. That's all it is. That's all it comes down to. Uh, he had no idea what was there. He had no idea what was going on. So just an easy kill right there. Nothing huge. Um, but in this moment, I'm thinking, all right, I've got $16,700. What am I going to do with it? I check the heartbeat sensor because we have that now, which by the way, if you're not running a heartbeat sensor on your class in solos, you're doing it wrong. There's no reason for you to not be running that. You need it in solos. Biggest tip, run a heartbeat sensor. Heartbeat sensors, and now we've got the UAVs. Now I do a little a little tactic that uh, that is very helpful actually. I like to grab a UAV, call it in, and grab another UAV. What this allows me to do is have a UAV for later. It puts me in a situation where I don't have to think about, oh, I got to go get another UAV. I grab a UAV, $4,000. I grab another UAV, another $4,000. And one's already called in. So I know what's going on around me. I know where I need to go to find people. And I like to mark people where they're coming from so I have the meters. You can see that on the map right there. I got him 130 meters out. So I know where he's coming from. He doesn't know that I'm here, but he's on my UAV. So I like to hug this wall here. And I know that he's coming this way. I know he's coming this way. So I check. He's right there. Easy kill. He got a shot on me, but it was one shot. So, like I said, UAV tactic, heartbeat sensor tactic, very, very good. This is something that made me stop raging. I played three games, three games, and ended up with one being 23 kills, and that's this game that you guys are seeing. I didn't get another win, however... I did end up getting like 12 kills with like 20 people left and stuff like that. And that's that's easy to get a good 20, 25 kill gameplay because people are so slow in this game. They don't go for kills. They want to they wanna hold their position. So if you can get those UAVs, if you can get those heartbeat sensors uh, where people are at and stuff like that, and you want to constantly be checking your heartbeat sensors and, you know, if you feel like you're getting close to somebody, throw in a UAV. In this situation, I got a really good sniper right here. I think you guys are really, really going to enjoy it. Uh, the first bullet, by the way, you're going to think, how did that not hit? I was like a millimeter in front of his forehead. I slowed this down uh, afterwards and I was like, okay, how did I not hit that first shot? Just like a millimeter in front of his face. Not a joke. I, it was so depressing. But the second shot was really good. Just shot him in the head. He had no, no idea what was going on because he was aiming down at somebody else and I have a suppressor on my gun. So it, it's kind of more difficult to hear the bullets whenever they go past. But all you hear is whoosh. That's it. So if you don't know the bullet sound, 
then you're screwed. That's the reason you want to be running suppressors on your class whenever you do pick them up. That's the reason when I run a sniper, I'm running a monolithic suppressor. It gives me damage range, but it also keeps me suppressed. It's a huge, huge deal, and I highly recommend you're running snipers on every gun that you run. N no joke. Uh, or snipers, silencers. Silencers are a huge, huge deal. Now, I start looking around at this point, right? And I, I'm thinking, okay, I've got 10 grand again. Let's go grab some UAVs. So I head over here. I'm going to do the exact same thing I did in a minute ago. Grab a UAV. We call it in. And we grab another UAV. This is so helpful, guys. I can't stress this. And this is the reason that I won the game. I find the guy that I feel like is going to be the easiest to kill on the map. And I go to him. Okay? I mark him on the map. I see where he's going. I check the map over and over to see if he's moving, which he is. He's coming this way. He's going to go all the way down the building. That's what he's doing right now. That is his goal. You can tell it by the way he's running. So I start running to the same spot. And I'm going to catch him off guard because he's not going to hear me. Because when I get close, I get quiet. And it's going to be the same thing for every single kill, ladies and gentlemen. The exact same thing for every kill. It's so, so easy, guys. I'm not joking. I didn't realize how easy it was going to be whenever I started doing this. If you catch people off guard, you basically win. That's all it comes down to, chat. That, that's all it comes down to. Literally, just catch people off guard. Right here, I saw him coming down. Start hitting my shots. He's dead. Instantly wiped. Gone. Off the face of the earth. <laughs> it's... It's just my favorite thing in the world. Honestly, UAV, heartbeat sensor, silencer, crouch walk, and just pay attention to where people are going. That's basically what these tips are going to come down to, and that's basically how the rest of this game is going to go. Um, I will walk you through like my thought process uh, for the rest of the game on getting close to people. And right here, you want you want to see what I'm doing. Obviously, I didn't mean to lay down. I was trying to slide. But as I get close, I start crouching. I'm not sure if he's on the top of the building or in the bottom of the building, but I see him on the heartbeat sensor. I'm thinking, okay, he's going to jump out the window. And literally at that moment, my man jumps out the window. This is why you want 60 bullets in your gun, by the way, because if you're as bad a shot as I am, you're you're going to need 60 bullets. Um, I do run 60 bullets in my, uh, my M4, and I also run everything else based on aim. Um, I think I even took off fully loaded on this class. That way I have that extra uh, M16 stock. It's very, very helpful whenever you're trying to aim. And you want to make sure that recoil... By the way, recoil is what you're worried about. Recoil. If you're on snipers, maybe a little bit more of like the weapon sway and stuff like that. But recoil is a big deal whenever you're making your classes. I'll help you guys out with a video very soon on how I make my classes. Because I've found that a lot of people are giving you classes that aren't that great. And... I found this out last night what's actually going to make my classes good because i've been watching a lot of people and I, I i paid attention to some of the pros easy easy shot right here easy shot 15 kills guys guys i'm not joking i have 15 kills right now it doesn't even feel like i have 15 kills does it it's so simple it's such an easy play dude whenever you play it like this and i didn't even leave like the same like i don't know uh kilometer basically square kilometer i didn't leave the the square kilometer that i was at also you want to grab money whenever you can guys because those uavs do not come cheap um that's why you see me just like as soon as i see like a stack of money i'm like let's grab the money now i don't always go for chess though that's uh that's a different thing you won't see me go for chess every single time like there's a chest down down below that you might be able to hear you might not be able to hear um but i don't go for it because there's no reason to that's not what i'm playing for right now um on the flip side i check around Check my surroundings with a heartbeat sensor. Make sure nobody's here. I look around with my sniper. You don't want to aim down too much because that little glimmer from your sniper scope, people are gonna people are gonna catch you, and that's not gonna work out for you. You're gonna end up dying. So you don't want to aim down too much. You want to look for your enemy. If you see the enemy, you see they're uh, not really looking at you, or even if they are looking at you. If you're a better sniper, go for the shot. If you can pull it off, go for the shot. Now, right here, you see I'm going for another buy station. Want to make sure I get those UAVs. I've already got a heartbeat sensor. Let's get those UAVs. Now, keep in mind, whenever you buy something on a UAV, people can hear you spend the money, which is a super weird thing, but they hear you spend the money. Now, up here, I saw that people were shooting. So, I'm going to play this a little bit different. I'm going to grab this UAV, call in the UAV, grab another UAV. Same thing. Every time, guys. Every time. I preach it over and over. It will work for you. I promise. If you can hit your shots, it'll work. Now, I don't rush into buildings, okay? You don't ever want to rush into buildings. If you rush into buildings, you're dying. Plain and simple. 
I've found over and over that as soon as I go into a building and I try and get somebody out of the building, I end up just like dropping dead. There's just no way you can play it and win. Also, perfect headshot chat. Just absolutely beautiful. Saw that guy on the, the mini map. I was like, F it, we'll go for it. And I just crushed his hopes and dreams. So I heard a guy coming down on the left. Didn't even go for it because I saw this guy right here. Seemed like an easy kill. I go for it and I, I just lost right there. And I, I thought maybe I could hit him on the Simtex because I still don't want to push in. People end up being already healed on armor by the time you push in. So I'm like, okay, we'll back up. We'll back up entirely. I see the circle. The circle's about to push them in. So I take this wall. I get a head glitch and there's only one issue. And I thought about this before. But I also thought to myself, I doubt the guy's even going to look out this direction because I have a suppressor on and nobody's been shooting without a suppressor. So there's a guy uh, on my right hand side over at the buildings, but he's sitting inside a building. I wasn't super worried about it. So I just kind of waited for someone to come out. Now, you don't want to ADS until you see somebody because it gives you a wider field of view and you want to be able to see everything moving around. Now, you can see that little laser moving around right there, which is what I saw and I shoot him and he's dead easy kill now there's another guy that ran out before him so i start running over this direction trying to find him where he ends up being is is kind of weird you guys are gonna love it you guys are gonna love it just watch just watch look at where he's at i'm like is that actually him yes that is actually him and i just saw him just laying down there i was like okay sure i'll take a free kill dude <laughs> uh weird but i'll take it and as i get closer i see another guy on my left He's up there in that top right window. He's up in the top right window. So I keep checking the uh, the heartbeat just to see if he can find me. He shot at me, by the way. I'm like, all right, you want to shoot at me? I'll finish you, baby. If you can hit those those chest and headshots while your gun's mounted, it's going to be an instant drop, chat. Instant drop. So make sure you're trying to pull that off. Now, I see another guy on the heartbeat. He's on my right. So I'm like, okay, let's go inside the building. Let's see if we can get high ground. Let's see if we can catch him off guard get the kill and pull off something crazy so i go to the top of the building climb up the ladder and i check over there but here's the issue i don't see him he's not there so i keep looking around and i'm trying to figure out what's going on and in a second by the way i didn't see the guy that was on the rooftop on the left hand side that would have been an easy kill really really frustrating when i got to the end of the game it uh it really really annoyed the p out of me but there's a guy on that uh teal building right in front of me there's a guy on the teal building. It's, I didn't see him, but right now I just saw him and I realized that that's a different guy than the guy that I tried to kill in this building right here. Such a weird situation where people can just sit on buildings and hide behind walls, honestly. So you're not going to see everything. It's a huge map. Don't expect to see everything, but just play it to the best of your ability. I saw this guy right here. I hit him one time and I want to go for the kill and I do. So I pull up my other weapon just to get the kill. The guy's shooting at me from inside of there. I almost thought that I was going to die, but I hop out and I start shooting him in the head. Got a couple good shots and I chuck a nade. So he's got to move his, his situation. So I want to back up, get inside this building and see what I can do. Now here's the issue. I've got to jump out right here. So I break the window and I jump out and I go left. I see a guy right there. So I start checking to see if somebody was there. If he's going to come out, I wait. And in this situation, once again, I decide that high ground is going to be my best play. High ground's the best play. But I've still got that guy in the other building that started shooting at me. So I want to keep that in mind. So I, I jump on top of this building. The guys obviously went inside that building, but I don't know where. It's absolutely crazy. I have no idea how he got around that fast. I got the kill here. The other guy got it. I was like, are you serious? You took my kill, bro? So I look up at him and I'm like, well, uh, bro, come on now. There's no way for, for that guy to go anywhere but inside. So I check inside and I don't find him. So I just go to the top of the building. And luckily, the top of the building is inside the circle. I peek the door and he's right there. Caught him at the top of the building, downed him, slapped him to death. I checked the other building because there was a guy over there shooting down on people. Didn't see him. Start throwing in plates. Always want to be plated up, chat. Always want to be plated up, making sure that you, uh, you're you in the situation that's the best for yourself. I With my tracker, I saw a guy's footsteps. So I check over here, and I get on top of the building where I know that they can't see me from behind. I catch that guy. I didn't mean to stand up, but it worked out. Um, and I just check around the corner. I know that there's one more guy. One single guy. I'm checking the kill at the top right, and I see that there's one more player. I don't see him on the heartbeat, so he's obviously got ghost. 
but he's chilling. He's literally right below the building on the left hand side. And he ends up walking out this direction in just a second. And we just, we crush his hopes and dreams. High ground is key, especially in situations like this. Jumps on top of the building, shredded, absolutely shredded. That's the victory royale right there, guys. I hope that this kind of helped you out a little bit. I hope that you listen to this instead of just watching it and expecting like a really cool gameplay or something like that. I wanted to help you guys out. So that's what I did in this video. Regardless, please do me a favor. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you subscribe to the channel as well as turn on notifications. That way you get notified every single time I post a video and a live stream. You can find all my socials in the description down below, including my Discord. Best way to stay up to date with the channel. And make sure to like the video. Thanks a ton, guys. And I will catch you in the next one. Peace out.